A cowboy doll is profoundly threatened and jealous when a new spaceman Fibble supplants him as top toy in the boy's room. Hello everyone and welcome to another movie review and this time it's on the movie Toy Story. This movie came out in 1995. It's at the top top number 81 spot for one of the best movies of all time, and I disagree with this. Um, it has won one Oscar, had 27 wins, and 23 more nominations. Um, the, the people that wrote this movie is John Lasseter, which he was also the director, uh, Pete Doctor, and Andrew Stanton. The minds that brought us Finding Nemo, Finding Dory. Yep. Uh, the, the top voice cast of this movie is Tom Hanks, Tim Allen, Don Rickles, Jim Varney, I did not know that it was him until I saw it, Wallace Shawn, John Ratzenberger, Annie Potts, John Morris, Eric Von Detten, Louis Metcalf, Ollie Orm Ormi, Sarah Wayne, Penn Gillette, Jack Angel, Spencer Asti, Red Bulge, Lisa Bradley, and Kendall Cunningham. Yeah, I had no idea Jim Varney was a voice in this movie. And after all these years, finding out that he let a voice in kill is like, oh my god. I remember him as Honest uh, from the Honest movies. Honest Goes Stupid, Honest Goes to Jail, um, Honest Saves Christmas. On this ghost camp, yeah, those movies. That was him. That was him. And then John Watsonberger was another one. Well, I, I knew he was here because I recognized him from the, his voice. From his voice, uh, John Watsonberger. I I know from a TV show way back uh, from the early mid '80s to early '90s. It was a TV show that went on, I believe, for like 10 seasons. Maybe a little bit more than that. The TV show was Chills, and that was a great show. Great show. And he was great in that show, along with a few other actors. Um, so, uh, about this movie. Uh, what, what do I think about this movie? I don't agree uh, the fact that it's one of the best movies of all time, but I don't hate it. Let's go over the details. Okay, so first, first off, the voice cast. I think that was the best part about this movie was the was a voice voices of Tom Hanks, Tim Allen, uh, John uh, Watson Vogel, um, Jim Varney, which I had no idea was him until now. Uh, yeah. And uh, the other people, uh, the other people that did the voices, the ones that I told you about uh, are the ones that I know and love. And uh, for what it's worth, I think they all did a great job, an amazing, amazing cast, voice cast, doing uh, great roles in the movie. Awesome stuff. Um, the animation, is it the best of its time? 1995. I'd say hell's yes. Uh, they have amazing graphics for its time. Uh, the graphics, sorry, sorry, animation. Keep doing that. Uh, great animation for its time. Um, what else? The, oh uh, yes, and this would be the weakest part of the movie. The storyline. Not to say that it was bad. It wasn't. The, it was written very, very well, and that's not my issue with it. My main and only issue with it is the fact that the plot is decent. It was decent. It, it wasn't good, but it wasn't bad. It was just decent, but written very, very well. From the minds of others, like I said, Finding Nemo, Finding Dory, yeah. Um, but this came out before those did. Yep. So, all in all, what would I, what would I give this a rating of? 
Oh, before I get to my reading, sorry. Another thing I need to mention. The pacing of this movie is actually perfect. Unlike The Lion King, I think uh, all the scenes that were supposed to be fast were fast. All the scenes that needed to be slow was slow. And this was just the, the, the right amount of timing for this movie. Which was, it was just under an hour and 30 minutes. And now in 20 minutes, we see The Lion King, it felt like it should have been longer, if you will. Because it had... The Lion King had a lot more story than this movie did. Yeah. Um, but anyhow, that being said, uh, what rating would I give this movie? IMDb, like I said, rates this as one of the best movies of all time. It also, with all the users combined, gives it an 8.3 out of 10. And I disagree with both. I disagree, uh... But best movie of all time? One of the best movies of all time? No. No. Not even close. Um, those other movies that I would put on on that list, and maybe one day I would I would I would do a list of like my my most favorite two my most favorite movies of all time, maybe like two hundred or one hundred even. Yeah. Uh, but right now this, and uh, I would have to say it's not an amazing movie, but it's a very good movie overall, and the rating I would give it is a 7 out of 10, 7 out of 10, which by the way, the soundtrack, perfect for the else. Uh, so I hope you guys have enjoyed this, and if you love this movie or didn't love this movie, you can let me know in the comment section down below. Let me know what you think, what your thoughts are. I always love your comments, whether you love the movie or hate it. You can like this video if you like this review, and you can subscribe to my channel if you love my content. So thank you all for taking time to watch, and join me next time for another movie re review I tend to do soon. I am out.